Welcome everyone to Vlogmas Day 2. I cannot believe that I am attempting to film every day in December. That is kind of crazy to me. My boyfriend was like, why are you not doing Vlogmas? And I was like, I don't know, I'll do it on TikTok because it's only like 60 seconds. And he was like, no, do it on YouTube. And I'm like really, really trying to hit 10k on YouTube. So he was like, look, if you do Vlogmas, you might end up hitting 10k. So I was like, do you know what? I want the memories as well for Elsie to look back on. So let's attempt to do it. I don't know if I'm just setting myself up for something that's going to be really stressful because I have got a lot going on in December but then again a lot for you guys to see and a lot for me to vlog so yeah I'm going to attempt vlogmas I am going to start setting off because I will explain where I'm going in a minute anyway I'm just setting off because I am running late as always my boyfriend has literally got everything ready with Elsie this morning like he got all of her bags ready yeah literally all I had to do this morning was get myself ready and pump anyway i'm super excited because i am seeing my granny today we are just going to meet up at a national trust place i think she might be buying me a national trust membership for christmas like i think she might just get it now because it's only 38 pound 40 i mean this might be really boring to some of you guys but um it's only £38.40 for a yearly membership because I'm 20. So 18 to 25 year olds, it's only £38. I thought that's actually quite good. The person behind me just beeped, I couldn't go. I don't understand. I think she might be getting me that for Christmas, which would be nice because I want to go on like lots of walks with Elsie, especially as she gets older. I feel like it will be really good for her just to be like out in nature. We should be there in about 15 minutes. I've arrived and it is 11.33 and I was meant to be here at 11.30. Now, I don't think that's bad. I mean, I'm not actually in the place yet because I need to get the pram out and everything. The only problem is Elsie's fallen asleep, but obviously I need to put her in her pram suit for her to go in the buggy. So that's just going to wake her up and I hate waking her up. But it is what it is. I am now going to get the buggy out and get on. <laughs> We have just had some lunch, Granny's here. We just had some lunch in the cafe and now we're going on a winter walk, which is super cute. Elsie is awake. Wanna say hi? Um, this is what the walk is currently looking like. But yeah, just going on the winter walk and should be really nice to be fair. I've got a National Trust membership as well, so thanks to Granny. So, um, it means that we can come here more often. We'll have lots of walks around here, Elsie. Anyway, we're just walking this way. We have come to this section, which is so pretty. If I had a garden, I'd plant loads of these. It's probably not that simple, Silver is it? Silver birches. Silver birches, Granny says. Say hi. I found a little hat to pop on her head. It's like the cutest thing ever. You know this is a dead end. We could sit down. We left Anglesey Abbey about 45 minutes ago. It was lovely to catch up with Granny. I think I'm going to see her again in about two or so weeks, maybe a few weeks anyway, because she doesn't actually live too near us. She lives about an hour's drive from us. But yeah, that was really nice to see her. We had a really nice time. It is now raining and I am on the way to go and try and pick up something that I have bought on Facebook Marketplace. So yesterday we bought a pram off facebook marketplace that we're going to use for like when we're on holiday and stuff it's the bugaboo b we bought it on facebook marketplace because it is so expensive to buy new it kind of it doesn't look new i can't lie it does look like it's been used but we're only using it for traveling it's probably going to get damaged and scratched when we put it into the plane hold anyway there is so much traffic in front of me anyway the plan is that i'm just going to clean that pram that we've already got so it's called the bugaboo b i think it's black i'll show it later on in the vlog because i need to clean it all out but i'm going to clean it all out make it look as nice as i can it is really nice don't get me wrong like it will only like it's it just looks a tiny bit worn that's it it's got a few like marks on it but i really don't care like i'm gonna put the marks on it anyway I'm now in a standstill traffic jam, which is great. But anyway, I'm going to pick up a car seat. Now, I know you shouldn't actually get secondhand car seats because of car safety and everything. But when we go away, um, like traveling, 
we can't use on that bugaboo b you can only use maxi cozy car seats and we've already both got car seats so it doesn't make sense to spend like another 150 pounds on a maxi cozy car seat from new so i'm going to get this one which literally looks barely used and it will literally be for when we go on holiday if we want to get taxis now a lot of places when you go on holiday you can just hold the baby you don't even have to put them in a car seat but i would just prefer for peace of mind to have her in a car seat so yes i am gonna get a second hand car seat but i know that it isn't like it it isn't recommended but it is only going to be used when we go abroad and for in taxis and stuff which some people don't even put their babies in a car seat in taxis so do what you will with that the haters <laughs> gonna come at me like you shouldn't do that um but that's what i'm doing i'm going to get that car seat now it is currently raining and she said that she left it outside because she had to go out and i'm just thinking like am i gonna turn up and it's gonna be soaking wet and then i've got to put it in my car to come and get it i've had to drive about six miles but the problem is where we live to get places just takes forever when you have to go through the city center so it's actually going to take me well it will have taken me 22 minutes by the time i get there but yeah that's what i'm doing in the car elsie's asleep which is why i decided to go straight after going to anglesey abbey but yeah that's the plan when we get home i'm gonna try and clean the buggy play with elsie for a bit and then wait for charlie to get home i just managed to collect the car seat as you can see it's just there it also comes with a nice fixed space and i didn't realize that my car's quite small because i only have an audi one and um yeah it was a struggle to put it into the car now i'm out of breath because i had to like run anyway i'm gonna head back on home now it's gonna take me like 20 minutes if not more because now it's like verging on rush hour but anyway we're gonna go back home i am gonna sort elsie out when we get back because i'm guessing she'll be awake by then and then i'm gonna clean the pram like i said i can hear music but it's not oh it's the drilling <laughs> what kind of music is that right anyway i will catch up with you in a bit just got home and i cannot be bothered to take everything out of this car <laughs> it's so bad and she's probably asleep oh she made a noise so i'm like oh i don't want to wake her up either i'd rather she just gets like 15 minutes more sleep and then i can just chill go on tiktok do you ever get that feeling like when you get home that you're just so tired you're like nah i don't want to drag like my coat and the changing bag inside but it's gonna have to be done anyway i'm gonna sit here and go on tiktok for like another five minutes and then i will actually have to make a move i'm currently on 109 can you even see that 109.8 followers on tiktok which is crazy i love tiktok so much and like sharing the journey of becoming a mum with you guys i also love instagram instagram something i've got way more into in like the past maybe three months really since elsie's been here and on there this will be interesting to watch back that's why i'm telling you the stats um 29.7 nearly at 30k i cannot wait to hit 30k because i am really bored of seeing the 29 <laughs> that is honestly like i am just like 30 would be such a nice number anyway yeah i'm gonna go on tiktok for a bit and then head on in it, we got home so long ago now it is eight o'clock and i'm currently watching zoe sugg's first vlogmas video she just does vlogmas 10 times better than the rest of us doesn't she like her vlogmas is top tier so yeah i'm just watching the first one now as you can see um only halfway through though and then elsie was asleep but she's decided that she wants to wake up she's on and off asleep literally me and charlie also picked up this christmas sign yesterday i think it was i really think it's cute and i feel like it will look really cute when we have our own house i'm gonna finish off this vlog by showing you the pram that i was talking about earlier because i realized that the whole vlog is gonna be a bit like what's she talking about if i don't show the pram that i got so yeah we got this pram for 30 pounds from facebook marketplace absolute bargain it's the bugaboo b and i absolutely love it we've got it so that when we go on holiday or just need like a pram for going away and don't want to take our massive pram then we can take this one we'll also use it when she gets a bit older you know like when two-year-olds don't need a pram all the time but sometimes they want them 
just to like have a little rest we'll use this one instead of using the big one that we've got so yes let me show you it now we're also having curry tonight which i am so excited about like takeaway curry hopefully you can see it all right so currently it's in the world facing Oh, you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's in the world facing view, if that ever makes sense. But you can actually switch it so it's forward facing, which I really like because I prefer to have Elsie forward facing. I mean, for now and probably for a while. But obviously she wouldn't fit in this now because she's only two months old. But when we're planning to use it, she'll be around five, six months. So she'll be hopefully sitting up and feel quite secure in there. This also, I also thought the hood colour was so nice. I feel like it's so me like i love a neutral this handlebar actually extends so it goes up to like there which is good because my boyfriend's six foot three nearly six foot four and like the underneath of the buggy has really good storage i just really love it i thought it was an absolute bargain for 30 pounds let me know if you guys have this pram if you've got any tips and tricks to put it down i'm pretty sure it's really easy the other thing is you can also put a car seat on it so we are going to attach a car seat to it. Like I said in, earlier in the vlog, um, we're going to attach the car seat that I got earlier to here. You have to get like some adapter things, but to here. And then you can still have the pram attachment on. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know if it does. Anyway, and then it folds down really easily, but I'm not actually too sure how you do it. I think you might need two hands. Oh wait, maybe you have to push this up. I have no idea, I'm going to have to watch a video on how you put it up and down because I keep on forgetting. 